Welcome back, my friends, to another YouTube video. Today's topic will be... What happens if you meet a person that literally gets under your skin all the time and makes you angry constantly? Well, to me, I have personally ran into a person that did that to me. I should have removed the person from my life completely, fully. Because what ended up happening was he was feeding on my energy even though he claims to not even know that he does this. He could be a, a psychic vampire, those do exist. Other entities that feed on your energy, if they feed on your joy, your love, and your passion your happiness. What do I mean? When you are constantly angry, everything else gets sucked, eaten, devoured. You no longer feel the positive effects you once did. Therefore, you were being drained and you need to become aware of this so you can remove the person from your life and so your energy can balance itself back to become the normal you. What do I mean? I mean literally become at peace once again. Return to peace. Return to balance. If you are constantly angry at this person, your job, etc., everything is sacrificed. Everything. Everything is being devoured and you are constantly angry, therefore you feel trapped. You feel stuck. You're always angry. Well, the universe is saying, hey, you're not a tree, remove this person or get a better job. Look for something better. Do not stay though forever. You have the option to move when you do find something better. When it comes to a person, block, remove, and or maybe call the cops if this person is stalking you physically or threatening you or something then drastic measures, uh, measures will be taken if, again, this person is trying to physically harm you or something. If it is online, well then just remove the person. Do not intervene anymore. They are feeding on your energy and you have to reclaim your energy back by removing this person. Recover your peace, recover your love, your passion, and your bliss. This person is constantly feeding on you, therefore you are being drained constantly and have no more fun, so to speak. For me, personally, when I was dealing with this person that kept getting under my skin, I noticed I changed completely from being happy, being bliss, being love, and what happened. I ended up becoming a person I did not like. I was always constantly angry, like con constantly needed to defend my points of view or get my views across. Except I was talking to a brick wall. A little wall because this person and I never saw eye to eye. We were never on the same page. We were always arguing nonstop. He thought he was better than me. He made me jealous once. Um, even he, now he tried to make it sound like, oh, you know, I, I, I'm seeing someone. Uh, guess what? She is better than you. Obviously, he made me, he 
got what he wanted. He made me jealous, even though he said from the past he does not try to make me jealous. It's just, no, the way you say things, the way you say things will ensue a certain emotion. Therefore, you made me jealous from how you said it without you wanting that effect. However, you said it in the way to make me jealous, therefore I did get jealous, except he, he was not trying to do that. It just happened. Once again, words, how you say them, will affect a... They, the, the way you say something will therefore have a particular effect. Think about how you say something because how you say something will either it will have an emotional impact whether you want it or not. With that being said, this person made me jealous when he was not trying to be he made it sound like he met someone better than me, therefore I did get jealous. Once again, he got under my skin and I saw a side of me that I hated. So, what happened next? I said something along the lines of, why are we even friends to begin with? Why are we trying when you are getting under my skin? Personally, I did not say that in the, the conversation. However, I was thinking that when I did say something, I don't remember what I said. What happened next, I logged out of Messenger and when I logged back in the next day, he blocked me. He did that. Either from how I said, why are we even friends? Why are we trying to do this? Or was it because um, the way I said it? No, that's actually... Okay, that is part one. Option two. Was it because I did not respond back in time? Therefore, he thought I did not want to speak to him anymore because I did not respond. However, I logged out, did not log back in until the next day, and lo and behold, he blocked me once again. I have the, well, once again, my ex controlled his reality to, well, I would appeal once again because he said I appealed in his dreams again before I came back. I forgot he even existed. And then something happened. I looked for him again, got in contact. Three days later of utter nonsense, he blocks me for over something stupid again. However, I noticed he is a psychic vampire. I should have removed him much, much sooner. I should have stayed gone completely like I was kept saying to myself. However, he controlled his reality to well I would appeal, therefore the law of attraction made me come back to him. And to, I don't even know what I was thinking. Actually, I was not thinking about going back to him for friendship. I wanted him out of my life for good. And what happened? I went back mysteriously only to discover we will never see eye to eye. He gets under my skin constantly. Why am I dealing with this person? He's making me constantly angry. I do not need this toxic person in my life. Why did I go back? Obviously, I haven't- I was not thinking. It just randomly happened. I mean, by random, I mean... Um, how- how should I explain this? A time frame. A... Keyframes. Frame by frame by frame, we are moving like a movie scene. Uh, a person explained this much better than I can, but this is the zest that I got. You're moving through life like this, fluid, frame by frame by frame, when you try to hit a wall and then go to a different frame, there's a shock, or you freeze, and then it's like, 
your brain can't process it fast enough, therefore you 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 pause because your brain can only process so fast. And I've had this many times. Well, I okay, I was like trying to okay. My cat was trying to get into this doorway, right? Okay, door is open. My cat is trying to get through that door. What happened? I froze. The cat jumped. I shut the door, but. It wasn't as fluid because my brain could not process it fast enough. Therefore, I was like in slow motion because I was like, I couldn't even move. I, I was like literally stuck in this frame because my brain could not process it fast enough. And therefore, it was not fluid. So why did I go back to my ex? Why did I let myself add him back? Fluid motion to do that. I could not stop the fluid emotion, even though I was like, why in God's name am I going back to this person, even though I know what will happen? And guess what? I was right. It happened again. Everything that I said, why am I going back to this person? I know what will happen. And I was right. It happened again, even though in new circumstances, uh, new things did come up. But again, same thing happened again. He controlled his reality to make me reappeal. I reappealed only to disappear three days later, which was again stupid. So when you have a- okay, recap. This person got under my skin. The motion to why it happened was fluid. I could not break this fluid motion of time. Therefore, I went back again, even though he made the law of attraction was working against me. I was his pawn being manipulated. I was not controlling this. He was. Part, uh, point three. He blocked me. I was happy. Part four. When you do have, when you do encounter a person getting you constantly mad, Get in under your skin, remove this person, never go back under any, any circumstances, never go back to this person. However, since I was not controlling this reality, he was, he went back. I knew he was going to block me sooner or later, or I was going to. Turns out he did because I said, why are we even friends? Why are we trying to make this work? It won't because... You think you're better than me. You made me jealous because of how you said it. And on top of that, we never saw eye to eye. We cannot settle our differences. Therefore, we will always be at each other's throats trying to claw each other to death. Because arguing constantly, therefore, we are draining ourselves. And you do not want to drain yourself constantly. This person got under my skin. He made me sacrifice my love, my happiness, my bliss, my light worker self. Therefore, I was returning to utter darkness, the opposite of what I wanted it to be. Yes, you must be in balance. There is darkness and there is light. You cannot have one without the other. Again, polar... Uh, Polarity. Therefore, again, another law of the her hermetic laws, uh, Hermes, uh, Thoth Hermes, um, the 12, I think it's 12 laws of the cosmos. I've seen some pages say there was less than that, some say 12. Uh, I can Google it right now, but I don't want to. Uh, you can look it up. Just look up uh, her. Mantic laws or laws of the cosmos you will find a list that will say law of attraction, polarity, those multiple um, multiple laws. Where am I going with this? Uh, my brain just literally stopped. Um, wow. Yeah, I, I don't know what I was going, well, I was going with that. Um, but 
basically when you have a person that gets under your skin who sacrifices your light worker self your love what you like to do whatever it may be get rid of this person because this person is not worth it they will constantly keep you down they will constantly drag you down therefore is a negative not a positive this person is toxic therefore get rid of him never go back to a toxic person under any circumstances if you need a group to help you keep on track please do so have your lo 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 loyal friends who will keep you on track never allow yourself to go back to this toxic person never do it the because what's the point you will constantly fight and get nothing done this person got under my skin and what happened i could not get anything done for three days he sacrificed my happiness he tried to get my energy down instead of up though he refuses not refuses he cannot see the bigger picture well as i can see the bigger picture therefore my third eye is actually open but his is not in this situation however there's multiple reasons why we never saw eye to eye it is not just one but when you do come across this person, get rid of this person. It is not worth having around. Therefore, find your proper friends. That will keep you on track, keep you balanced, keep you grounded, and who you have fun with. Pay attention to how you feel about this person. People. Multiple people. Because how you feel defines everything. Energy speaks the loudest, not just emotion, it is energy as well. Your vibration says everything. Pay attention to how you feel when speaking to this person, even when you walk into a room. Pay attention to how you feel. If it is negative, do not pursue any further. Go the opposite way exit that room but then again if it is a a business related conference uh meeting uh, like you're nervous give yourself a pep talk but if you are having bad vibes pay attention to those vibes energy speaks the loudest become a whale Become the most of all you have ever been. That is all I can say. Um, not bad for an unscripted video. I am trying to become more fluid. Therefore, I am not reading as much. Because I am trying to get my powerful vibes in each video now. What do I mean? Become more love in each video break the boundary become more outgoing what the heck do I mean become so fluid in your videos and you're on the mic that you don't have to hide your real self meaning break this stage fright and become your natural self on video not easy to do especially when you are dealing with light worker uh blogging like i have been doing what do, what in the world do i mean giving advice to people speaking your mind about subjects you are passionate about speaking deeply being mindful being emotional what do i mean by being emotional i mean show emotion not monologuing but also the easiest way i can describe this is role play or larp what do i mean 
again become so fluid in your speech that you do not have to worry about how you sound. You can show your real self no matter what. So, um, what do I actually mean? Become so powerful in love that you always smile when you speak. Your happiness will shine through. Not easy to do for myself because I am still new to this blogging. Therefore, my energy is still kind of down. But that's only because I keep dealing with stupid, toxic environments. Be it people or just the environment around me. However, if... I might be able to try something. Actually, I am thinking about uh, doing this. However, my codec decided to be gone stupid broke. My brain, you're speaking too fast. My lips can't keep up. What did Kodak not working properly? Video ever exporting ever. Therefore, I had to uninstall, reinstall, fingers crossed to say I can make videos again. I have been lazy and did not uninstall and reinstall. The softball until today, therefore my idea just hit me about what I can do uh, to help my light worker uh, video, videos, <sighs> channel. <laughs> when you can be a goofball on video, go out, show your comedy side, become an entertainer. However, that is what I am trying to do. Brighten up my light worker vlogging, vlogging, sorry, to the point well, show your passion on video. It is not easy to do, but I am getting better with each time I do speak fluidly, not reading a script. But then again, scripting is okay. I just become more fluid with each time I do read, but it is also my mic did make me sound like a robot once. So blame the editing that I do because I am a total noob. I admit that. I, I have not studied any editing software, anything to do with microphones and editing. I have no lessons learned from that. This is all done by what I think sounded good. However, for whatever reason, it one time it made me sound like a robot. I don't know why it just happened. However, however, this person could not feel the passion I was speaking. Therefore, my energy was so powerful and passionate. So, I did not. I do not blame the energy. I blame the microphone. Just to. I am I am still laughing at that, and that's why I included this uh, part, mini part three. Good. Yeah, so let's I, I have like eight minutes of randomness, but it's good. It's good. It's it's just, it's good. Because I am being my authentic self on camera. Who needs to? split each video into its proper channels. When I cannot control what I say, it just happens. What do I mean? This is off script, therefore I am speaking from my higher self, my th crown chakra, my third eye. Therefore, it just happens naturally. Why split that? Why split, why split the energy of said video into its proper parts. Don't. That's why I don't edit anything. I leave it raw, except for updating the brightness levels, because why tweak the video into parts when you can just have it full to see the actual energy shifts? You know what I'm saying? The more natural you do 
the better you become, the better the video. Right now, you can tell I'm more natural on video right now because I shook off the stage fright. Not a stage fright, but just I have not recorded anything for like two weeks, so it's like I'm a bit rusty, but now my energy is fine. I'm normal. I'm animate. The more animate. Animate you become the better So good very good very good So the more animate the more fluid the more Natural energies I produce when speaking the better, but this does not happen overnight Me I am still laughing that comment even happened But I knew he did not he was not Productive because the next comment he asked me was am I on drugs and therefore I discredited his first comment of you become you need to become more passionate as you speak However, when you asked me if I was on drugs, I discredited your comment However, I did took that as criticism because I was not as fluid as I am now however a monologuing can be good it gives a certain feel to each video. Therefore, you get to stand out amongst the crowd. Why become the crowd when you can stand out? Therefore, I do not mind the scripts that I read because it is will, it will make me stand out. And people tend to not mind that. However, I mix it up on the channel all the time, be it from health updates, frequency updates, other up randomness, uh, off scripts, um, such as this. I tend to lean towards like random updates, while as I should be returning back to my light worker blog. Not just randomness, uh, I have to keep it somewhat centered into late worker. Not just frequency updates or health updates, even though I know that is also tied into light worker blogs because there are going to be energy subs, you are going to feel those effects, be it in sickness or positive. However, it, my video channel has been leaning towards the randomness while also constructiveness but also I need to return to the light worker light language videos however nothing has come up to for me to record as of now uh, I don't know why it just happened I have not recorded anything new from that if I did it's just gonna be in Mm. Note yourself, get a better, better organization. Meaning, name the folder after you complete a video. However, this one, I'm just gonna leave it as a. Right, I don't even. <coughs> but yeah. I thank you for your time and, and, and until we meet again, my friends.